let me move on to the di equation so friends here they have given a pie chart and here it's a table chart right so pie chart that is distribution of students studying mbbs and engineering on various colleges and total number of students are 3,25,000. So friends, totally there are 3,25,000 students are studying. So out of this 3,25,000 students, all the students are studying in a different colleges that is A to F. And they are studying two fields, one is engineering and second is MBBS. So out of this 3,25,000 students, the college C has 20% and college D is 15%, college E is 12% but we, they didn't give the value of B, right? So college B that is X percentage. So we need to find what is the value of that, okay? Secondly, they have given a table chart and here the table chart that is from college A to F male is to female ratio and the students who are studying MBBS and engineering that too all the values are given in a ratio. So friends the table chart is completely for MBBS and engineering students ratio and for male and female ratio in all the colleges and the pie chart that is total number of students who are distributed into various colleges and uh, some of the values are not given in the table chart that is C male is to female ratio is not given and uh, college E well MBBS and engineering ratio is not given but here in the pie chart that is B is X percentage. So friends before solving this always remember that this pie chart we know that this complete angle is 360 degree if it is a pie chart 360 degree always 360 degree is equals to 100 percentage if i count all the values it should be definitely 100 percentage right so friends 20 plus 20 will be 40 so 40 plus 15 will be 55 55 plus 8 i think this this will be 20 right so 55 plus 20 will be 75 so the total is 75 we know that this total circle should be 100 percentage so 100 percentage minus 75 percentage the resultant b will be 25 percentage so i can say that the value of b that is x percentage will be 25 percentage so friends always remember that this total circle should be 100 percentage okay friends let me move on to the first question what is the ratio of female students of college b to those of college f so friends our target to find the ratio right that is for the female students of college b to those of college f we need to find the ratio that is for female and college b to the female that is in college f friends they are not particularly asking whether it is an mbbs or engineering right they are just targeting the total number of students in college b that is female students so friends our target to find the ratio that is b to college f only females right okay the two here two females right to college b female to college f female so friends listen carefully first of all let me target what is college b college b the total number of students is 3,25,000 so out of this 3,25,000 students how many students are studying in college b friends 25 percentage of students are studying in college b so i can say that 25 percentage of students are studying in college b so out of this 25 students our target to find only female in college b so friends college b female are in a ratio 3 is to 7 that is 7 is the female ratio so 7 divided by total ratio that is 10 so friends clear on the concept okay our next target to find the college f female similarly out of this 2, 2 lakh that is 3 lakh 25 thousand students what about college f friends college f is 8 percentage so out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand students 8 percentage of students are in college f so our target to find college f female so college f female will be in the ratio male is to female that is 3 is to 1 our target to find only female so female are in a ratio 1 divided by total ratio that is 3 plus 1 will be 4 so friends we can cancel this 3 lakh 25 thousand and 3 lakh 25 thousand and similarly we can cancel this 100 and we can also cancel this 100 so finally we can cancel 1 4s are 4 2 4s are 8 okay and uh, i think we can cancel this 5 table if i cancel this on 5 table 5 5s are 25 2 5s are 10 i think we can't able to cancel any value so the remaining are 7 into 5 divided by 2 ratio here it is 2 so we can say that 7 into 5 this to 2 into 2 will be 4 so finally 7 5s are 35 so the ratio will be 35 is to 4 
so friends finally we got the ratio that is 35 is to 4 for question number one so friends remember that don't calculate the value separately and don't calculate this value separately and then some students will use to find the ratio so don't do that in your exams always you should be faster right so the better thing write in a single step so that we can cancel all the values easily question number two if the ratio of number of male and female students in college c same as that of ratio of male and female students in college d then the number of female student in college f is what percentage of number of male student in college c so friends our target to find the female student in college f is what percentage of male student in college c so friends always remember that if in anywhere else in the data interpretation topic if you find this what percentage then definitely we can say that the question in the format called x is what percentage of y in many of my videos i have told you that x is what percentage of y that is x divided by y into 100 so friends here is what percentage of if you find this word then definitely it will be in the format called x is what percentage of y so friends the numerator x is the female student in college f and the denominator y that is male student in college c but before that they have given a three points the ratio of number of male and female student in college c is same as that of ratio and female that is male and female students in college d right friends listen carefully here they have given a table chart in the table chart we don't know the college c male and female ratio but in the question they have given a clue that both c and d male is to female ratio will be same see here, friends male and female ratio college c is same as that of the college d male and female ratio so we can surely say that this college c and college d both the male and female ratio are same so we can surely say that this x will be 5 is to 3 okay so friends let me find this x is what percentage of y okay the numerator x that is female students in college f so friends out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand students how many students are there in college f friends so the college f which has 8 percentage so we can write this as 8 divided by 100 so out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand students college f that is 8 by 100 that is 8 percentage so out of this 8 8 percentage we have a target to find only female in college f so the college f female are in a ratio 3 is to 1 that is male and female ratio 3 is to 1 our target to find only female so females are in a ratio 1 so 1 divided by the total ratio that is 4 okay divided by next step so out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand students so how many students are studying in college c so friends the college c are in a ratio 20 percentage that is 20 divided by 100 so into our target to find the male students in college c so the college c male and female ratio 5 is to 3 the male ratio are 5 so 5 divided by the total ratio that is 8 into 100 so this looks like a format called x divided by y into 100 so we can cancel this 3 lakh 25 thousand 3 lakh 25 thousand and similarly we can cancel this 100 and we can also cancel this 100 okay i think uh, we can cancel this or write the next reference so the remaining values are 1 by 4 into 8 right so divided by here the remaining values are 5 divided by 8 into here it is 20 so into 100 so friends if you are a brilliant you can directly cancel 4 into 2 will be 8 and we can cancel this on two table right if you are a beginner so write this step but don't write this in your exam right if for a practicing you can write these steps now when we cancel this one fours are four then two fours are eight and i think we can cancel this on four table two times if i cancel this on four table that is five times so finally the numerator we have two and the denominator we have five five into five will be 25 friends and the denominator we have 25 so we can write this as two into two will be four divided by 25 into 100 so when we cancel 25 four times so 4 into 4 will be 16 so finally we got the answer 16 percentage for question number 2 so friends always remember that if it is in the format anywhere else in the da equation if you find x is what percentage of y then it will be the formula called x divided by y into 100 question number 3 if the ratio of number of male and female students in college d the same that of number of MBBS and engineering students in college E. Then what is the difference between the MBBS students in college A and E? So friends, our target to find the difference, right? That is difference for the MBBS students. So friends, we need to find the difference for MBBS students in college A to the MBBS students in college E. 
okay so this is our target friends we need to find the difference difference that means subtraction right okay but they have given a clue that ratio of number of male and female students in college d okay so friends see here friends college d male and female ratio are 5 is to 3 okay is same as that of number of mbbs and engineering students in college e friends listen carefully in college e we don't know what is how, what is the students number of students who are there in mbbs and engineering but here in the question they have given a clue that is the college d male and female ratio is same as that of mbbs and engineering in college e so we can say that the college e mbbs and engineering are in a ratio that is 5 is to 3 so this is the clue they have given in the first three points and the next point we need to find what is the difference between mbbs in college a and mbbs in college e okay friends we know that first of all total students are 3 lakh 25 thousand so out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand see how many students are studying in college a so the college a the number of students will be 20 percentage that is 20 divided by 100 okay out of this 20 percentage our target to find only mbbs in college a so the college a mbbs students are in a ratio 3 so 3 divided by the total ratio that is 5 so 3 plus 2 the total ratio 5 so difference that means subtraction similarly out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand students so how many students are there in college e so college e is 12 percentage so 12 divided by 100 so out of this 12 percentage our target to find that is mbbs so friends mbbs are in a ratio that is 5 and the total ratio that 8 so we need to calculate this and we need to find the difference friends always remember that uh, in, if it is a ratio, we can cancel this 23 lakh 25,000 and 3 lakh 25,000. But here we need to subtract this. So friends, do one thing. Don't separately calculate left hand side part and right hand side part. Then go, don't go for the difference, right? Year 3 lakh 25,000 and year 3 lakh 25,000 is common. So let me take 3 lakh 25,000 from the, both these values common, right? Okay. Next step, year we can find 100 and year we can find 100. So similarly from both the numbers we can take 100 as common so the remaining numbers are 3 into 20 by 5 so 3 into 20 divided by 5 and here 5 into 12 so 5 into 12 divided by 8 so these are the numbers are remaining so friends now i think we can cancel this 0 0 and we can cancel this 0 0 so here we have 3 lakh that is sorry here we have 3250 so try to cancel this 1 5 are 5 5 4 are 20 right so similarly we can cancel this on 4 table if i cancel this on 4 table 4 2s are 8 4 3s are 12 i think we can't able to cancel anything okay finally we got 3250 that is 4 into 3 will be 12 so here 5 into 3 will be 15 15 divided by 2 friends so this can be written as uh, uh, 3250 so 3250 so let me take LCM as 2. If I take LCM as 2, 12 into 2 will be 24. So 24 minus 15 divided by 2. So I think we can cancel this on 2 table friends. If I cancel this on 2 table, 1, 2s are 2. Remaining will be 1, 6, 2s are 12. Remaining will be, that is 2, 2s are 4. Remaining will be 1, that is. So finally we can say that 1, 6, 2, 5. So 24 minus 15 will be 9. So finally we need to multiply that is 1, 6, 2, 5 into 9. So friends, 9 5 is a 45, the remaining will be 4. So 9 2 is 18 plus 4 will be 22, the remaining will be 2. So 9 6 is 54, 54 plus 2 will be 56, the remaining will be 5. So 9 5, that is 14. So finally, we can say that the difference for MBBS in college A and difference in MBBS for college E, that is 14,625. So friends, always remember that don't find the left hand side part separately and right hand side part separately. That will make you more than one or one and a half minute. So if you need to solve a question faster, in both the cases where we can find 3,25,000 common, so just take 3,25,000 common from both these numbers. Similarly, we can see here also 100 and here also 100, so I have took 100 as common. So the remaining numbers 3 into 20 divided by 5, so 5 into 12 divided by 8. So after simplifying this, finally we got the answer that is 14,625 for question number 3. Let me move on to the last fourth question. The number of engineering students in college A is what percentage less than the number of MBBS students in college D? That means we need to find an approximate value. Friends, listen carefully. Our target to find the total number of engineering students in college A is what percentage less? Friends, listen carefully. Is what percentage less? 
according to question number one if the question is in the format called x is what percentage of y then we use a formula called x divided by y into 100 but here it is similar but here they have given an extra word that is x is what percentage less so we should use a formula that is x is what percentage less than y so then the formula is x minus y divided by y into 100 so friends listen carefully the denominator y will be mbbs students in college d and the value of x that is numerator the total number of engineering students in college a that is most important friends so we can write as right so college a engineering so minus the y determines mbbs students in college d so college d mbbs so divided by don't write this in your exams right in order to understand you clearly i am just writing these steps so college d mbps so we need to substitute all the values and we need to find how much percentage it is less so friends our target to find engineering in college a okay we know the total there are 3 lakh 25 thousand right so we can write this at 3 lakh 25 thousand okay i can write this so out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand the college a is 20 percentage friends so 20 divided by 100 of that means multiplication so friends our target to find engineering so engineering in college a okay the engineering in college a that is 3 is to 2 ratio so the engineering or 2 ratio the total that is 5 so we can write this as 2 divided by 5 so friends college a engineering that is 2 by 5 into 20 divided by 100 into 3 lakh 25 thousand so next is college d mbbs okay friends so similarly we have 3 lakh 25 thousand so out of this 3 lakh 25 thousand we need to find how much students are studying in college d so the college d is 15 percentage that is 15 divided by 100 so we need to find the mbbs so college d mbbs are 8 so 8 divided by total ratio that is 13 so divided by so college d mbbs that is 8 divided by 13 into 15 divided by 100 into 3 lakh 25,000 so friends remember that after writing this step there is a huge calculation right we need to find this value then we need to subtract with this value then we need to divide this value friends my advice in all the four terms we can find 3 lakh 25,000 in common so we can directly say that we can cancel all the 3 lakh 25,000 friends got the logic in the numerator year 3 lakh 25,000 year 3 lakh 25,000 from both the term we should take 3 lakh 25,000 as a common we can say that if all the term has 3 lakh 25,000 we can easily cancel it right okay next step see here, friends in this term where we can find 100 similarly in this term I can find 100 and in this term I can find 100 so I can say we can cancel all the 100 terms right don't cancel 8 by 13 8 by 13 why because in all the term the value should be 8 by 13 here it is 8 by 13 here it is 8 by 13 but here we can't able to find 8 by 13 so friends the remaining numbers are that is 2 okay i can write here the remaining numbers are 2 divided by 5 into 20 minus of 8 divided by 13 so 8 divided by 13 into 15 so divided by the remaining here it is 8 divided by 13 into 15 okay so friends i think we can cancel this on okay let me cancel this on five tables so four times so four into two will be eight so eight minus eight into 15 will be 120 friends 120 divided by 13 similarly eight into 15 divided 120 divided by 13 friends listen carefully into 100 we missed into 100 right so into 100 into 100 similarly here to into 100 why because x minus y divided by y into 100 so friends i think uh, we can take an lcm 13 if i take lcm as 13 13 into 8 will be 104 so i can say that 104 minus 120 divided by 13 similarly here it is 120 divided by 13 into 100 so we can cancel this 13 and 13 104 minus 120 will be 16 so i can say that 16 divided by here the values of 120 into 100 so we can cancel 0 and 0 I think we can cancel this on 4 table. If I cancel this on 4 table, 4 4s are 16, 4 3s are 12. So 4 into 10 will be 40 by 3. So 40 by 3 will be 13.33 something friends. We need to calculate an approximate value. So we can say that 13 percentage is the answer for question number 4. So friends, most of the students will think that we can't be able to solve these types of questions within 1 minute remember that if you calculate the value separately then it will take more than five minutes 
so if you need to cancel all the values faster so this is the better way to solve these types of question in our exams so friends finally we have shown a four different question on a medium or an, a difficult level data interpretation topic so don't forget to subscribe my channel and go to my channel and watch many number of data interpretation question so that you will really feel happy after watching all the videos